rough right now but we just going through some things right now <laughs> so pretty much I'm in a whole new different apartment as you can probably hear I'm freaking echoing right now so what had happened was is that it was raining so much for like days straight and where we live is kind of like on a hill type of thing and then something happened with the foundation because it was raining so much the foundation of like like where we stay at literally like cracked and they're they're saying that like, it's emergency that we have to like leave like evacuate the building pretty much in 48 hours so we pretty much had to pack up all our shit again they gave us a moving company and everything and then they gave us a new building number we're all the way at the end but they did give us an upgrade so now we have like hardwood floors throughout we have two bedrooms two bathrooms and it's just a much bigger floor, floor plan so I guess I can show you guys what it looks like, an empty tour. They're actually packing up right now, bringing the stuff over, hired a maid to clean everything up because it's nasty, like, it's dusty, and I, did, I don't wanna do it. I personally, I really don't wanna do it. I already packed and stuff, I'm not cleaning up. So, hired a maid and they're gonna clean it up for us. She should be here any minute. So you walk in, turn to your right, there is a full bathroom, as you can see. And it's really dirty, like dusty in there. And then it also has like this thing where you can put towels and stuff. And then you turn to your left and you have the first bedroom, which <laughs> you see I already have my lights in there. It's going to be an office. Well, it is going to be office anyways. And then, yeah, the bedroom is pretty big. And we're on the first floor this time. And then it has like this big ass mirror. I'm going to take pictures here. <laughs> And then I told TG I was taking this closet for myself. Just gonna put all my shit in there. Well, we'll see. There's like three closets that I can use, so. And then you come out of the room, they have like a coat hat, coat, <laughs> a coat thing, coat place where you could hang up your stuff, put your shoes and stuff, or just storage. And then you come, walk, walk, walk. You're right again, we have the dining area. So we're probably gonna get like a maybe like a round table or something. Put some nice artwork on the wall. And then you walk right into the kitchen. Let's see if I can give you guys like a full view, like kitchen. Yeah. So anyways, you walk right into the kitchen. There's stainless steel appliances. The water pressure is so much better here than in the other apartment. A lot. If I tell you how the water pressure was in the other apartment, no. Yeah, then they have the stainless steel, it's dirty. Like, do you see all that oil and shit on there? So that's why I called the maid. Like, it's not happening. I'm not doing it. <sighs> I guess the apartments didn't get to clean the places properly because, um, because it was happening too fast. So yeah, then you have the little pantry right here. And then the washer and dryer area. Right by the kitchen is weird, but it's okay. And I like the other places better because these things were white, like everything was painted white. But here, like they painted um, the crown molding and stuff brown. I like the white because it just goes with everything. So yeah, this is the living area. Nice size, we're gonna have to get an area rug now. And then we're literally on the first floor, which is scary for me. I think it's kind of scary, but whatever. So you keep walking from the living room and then we're to the room now. This is the master bedroom. It is bigger than the other one. I think it is. It actually has three windows instead of two. He was like, he's gonna put his bed over by this window and make it go this way and put his TV over there. I'm like, no, no, no. Put your bed over here. You can get two nightstands or whatever and then have your TV over there. And then you walk and there's two closets. It's not as big as the other ones. That's why there's two. Turn on the light. I do not like this yellow lighting everywhere. It's like ugly. So this is one closet. Nice size. Bless me. And then this is the other closet. And then this is the bathroom. 
toilets double this time we have double sinks actually which is good so he can have his side you know it's gonna be dirty mine's gonna be nice and clean there's me look at this dirty mirror i'm sorry for saying dirty so much but i just like i hate being in like Ugh. and then here's the bathtub which needs a scrubbing and I, what i like about this is that it has like a frost window so a lot of light comes in so that's cool then it has like the garden tub. I think that's what you call it. But I love the window in it. Natural lighting on fleek. So yeah, that is pretty much the new place. Um, we got to fill out this form. Just tell them everything they need to fix. Like they need to do some, some more painting. I'm going to tell them to change the lights if they can. If not, like I need to do it. Or hire somebody to do it. Because I can't. I hate yellow lights. Like it just looks so like. It's not cute. So yeah well, let me know what you guys think it's very unfortunate though that it had to happen like tg is working this whole entire weekend it's official visit so he's like no sleep he's gonna be up all night for the whole entire weekend everything i feel bad for him you know but i guess out of it he got something better at first they were gonna make us pay like after they fixed the place they were gonna make more well, make him pay the extra amount um, for moving here, but he's like, no, like the, you guys are inconveniencing me um, So you guys need to work something out blah blah So he ended up getting this spa, which is bigger for the same price he got that for which was like 12 something and it was a deal and then Yeah, so he, he's getting it for like a little bit over 1200 two bedroom two bathroom, which is pretty good for Austin to be honest and um, Yeah, he's in it for, for a whole entire year. So yay him this up I think this bed this apartment is probably like almost fifteen hundred so deal and where's this cleaning lady though she needs to come ASAP okay guys so the move is pretty much done guess I'm looking rough I'm sorry gotta do my hair and everything when I get to the hotel um about to go to the hotel where TG staying for the weekend so pretty much everything is moved in just gotta unpack everything all over again had the maid come in, she cleaned up everything, bat the two bathrooms, floor, the whole kitchen, all of that stuff. Um, so we pretty much put everything in the second bedroom. Like this is gonna be a disaster to clean up. My gosh. But I already call it from now, because I know we're not gonna get a dining table for now. I'm gonna be filming right here. I have like so much wall space and then I have my ring light and I have my two um, box lights so it's gonna be lit I ended up putting the TV here instead instead of over there because at first it was switched around but I moved it myself because you know if somebody's cooking over here they can easily just look off and watch TV while they're cooking instead of it being on this side you know what I mean and then the movers put in the bed and all that just gotta make it up and do all that and I'm so happy that the cleaner came because she was able to like dust off all of the the lights and everything she dusted off all of this area the blinds all the blinds everywhere and she cleaned the doors and everything and I appreciate that because I don't know I'm just such a germaphobe when it's like something new somewhere new it's just like oh like I just I can't imagine how other people lived so it's like me moving to another place where other people live and the place is not wasn't clean before we came it's just like it's such a turn off it's such a turn off so i'm like no like babe we're we're getting a maid i don't care i don't care <laughs> like obviously i can clean it no it's actually different if i was living in here and i made the mess and whatever whatever it would be i would feel okay to clean it because i made the mess i know what what happened in this house but because we came in and it was already dirty. We don't know who lived here before. I'm like, there's no way I'd want to put my hand in this, do this, do that. Like, I'm like, ill. So I'm like, we're calling a maid. She could do all that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm here by myself. Gotta get used to this place. And then I'm so silly. I freaking knocked all this Mr. Clean on the floor and I had to freaking mop it up. I'm such a klutz. Yes, I see you crumbs. Like, there's crumbs inside. You know, like, the little folds of the fridge over here? Ooh, I got it on my finger. Ew. See, I'm just trying to take it out like that. All this type of stuff disturbs me. I don't know why. 
Like, even though I'm using my fingers to take it out, just like seeing it, I can wash my hand, but like seeing it's just like, ugh. Right now, I'm gonna dig through these boxes because somebody's about to come pick me up and I gotta find a jacket because the social that they're having today with the parents is gonna be on the river. Won't be able to vlog it because it's his job and that's just like hella awkward and like the parents don't want to be in the videos like that. So I need to find a jacket because it's going to be cold. And knowing me, I'm anemic. I'm going to be cold. What's up guys? So I just made it to the hotel. Again, we're staying at the Four Seasons. I walked past all these coworkers now looking the way I look. I look so bummy. Like I'm wearing freaking socks with these furry slippers non-matching burgundy black gray hair looking like this bros it was embarrassing kind of i'm just like oh hi but yeah bae ordered me some quesadilla he's so sweet because he knows i'm starving and then again the view hello river i heard that the social is going to be by the river today so I don't know where that's gonna be. It's gonna be kind of cool. I'm excited for that. I wonder where it's gonna be. It's so pretty though. This is the other room, like the suite. As you can see, open bar type thing. I can't lie, TG's job has a lot of perks to it, like a lot of perks. Can't lie. Hey guys, so I did I even I didn't even vlog before I left, so I this is I didn't even get to show you guys what I was wearing, pretty much. Um so I was wearing this t-shirt, Guns N' Roses, with these jeans, but I was wearing thigh high boots and a jean jacket, so it wasn't showing. But let me tell you guys that my t-shirt was the hot topic. The coaches, the people who worked at the hotel was like, your t-shirt is so awesome. Like everybody was saying that my t-shirt was so awesome. I was like, really? And they were like, so are you actually a fan or no? And I was like, not really. <laughs> um, and then they were telling me like all these songs that Guns N' Roses play and stuff like that. I had no idea what songs they were but as the night went on people were continuing to ask me about my shirt and they would be like you really a fan of Guns N' Roses and I was like yeah I cannot remember the songs oh my god but I was saying these two songs all night and people were like yeah yeah you're a fan pretty much and I was like I don't even know these songs but I played along with it and yeah I was my my shirt was hey, definitely Definitely a hot topic of the night. Come here, baby. Bring that ass here. Come here. My baby. <laughs> Yo, I put him on this song, guys. I put him on this song. What's up, everybody? So today is Saturday, and TG's at work as usual and I'm actually going out with a subscriber a follower of mine which is so cool again I love going out with you guys on like just simple just you know dinner dates or like okay what am I saying dinner dates we're going out for brunch actually she's in the city she said she was doing a conference or something like that she wants to talk about YouTube and all this type of stuff she sent me such a nice message on snapchat I was like I gotta go out with this girl so her name is Selena we are going to get some breakfast brunch or whatever and yeah she's on her way right now so I'm excited to meet her and maybe she'll want to be in my vlog as well because I think she did say she wants to do YouTube so yeah hopefully it goes well we'll see hey guys so I'm with Selena hey. isn't she so gorgeous oh thank you you're so pretty. gorgeous so <laughs> yeah She's Let me pretty. tell you, this girl right here is the sweetest, sweetest thing. Like, she's Aww, so genuine. you're so sweet. And beautiful. Aw, <laughs> thank <now>. you. <laughs> so, we are going to a place called Snooze, right? Yeah, Snooze. It's a brunch, a brunch spot that we found 
she found it. Well, that I found, yeah, that I found. <laughs> she she went here already, here. right? Yeah. Yeah. The so. food is so good here, and they were saying that they do have like local farmers, so they get all their food from like the local farmers and things like that. Oh, that's so it cool. Was healthy. It stuff. looks it looks very nice here. Look, there's like people outside on the patio and stuff. So guys, we cannot even come here anymore because it's so packed. It's stupid packed in there. We have to wait, what is it, 30 to 40, 30 to 40 minutes, minutes to get a spot. So, For two people. Yeah. So we're going somewhere else, hopefully. It's not packed like this. I know. Are you vegetarian? I'm vegan. Oh, you're vegan. Yes, oh my vegan. gosh. I am a vegan. I wish I could do that. Well, I could. But well, see, you know, you want to know why it's easier for me? It's why? because um, I don't like meat. Oh, really? I never, I, even when I was a kid, my mom used to have to force me to eat meat and stuff like that. Put a belt by my plate and everything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have island parents, B. Like you chicken and everything, made, right? Like, yes. But so, um, I don't really like meat, so it was, it's easier for me to be vegan. Because I don't have a taste, I don't crave it, I don't have a taste for it. Wow. Yeah. I need to learn some stuff from you. <laughs> So we ended up coming to Kirby Lane Cafe and they have $2 mimosas, woo! <laughs> Their menu is so big, I don't know what I want. Guys, I think I just found my soul sister from Texas, okay? Yes! A Caribbean girl over here. You, yes, bad you ting. You know. <laughs> Do you hear the tunes you're listening to right now? Let me turn it on. Like do re mi. Me overdo it. That accent though. <laughs> to me, every man is invisible. <laughs> Yo, I feel so good right now. You don't understand. Like it's so. Nah, nah. It's so rare for me to find this, okay? <laughs> Especially in Texas. Yeah. Oh my God. People yeah. are like, what's reggae? I'm joking. <laughs> what's that song? Okay, let me not distract her because she can't do more than. I can't do two things at once. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back to the hotel and we had a great time. I feel like me and Selena, we really bonded. Like she's Caribbean, I'm Caribbean. So she knows like all the music and everything. And like I could talk to her like in an accent. Like it's just so like, I've never like, I've never met anyone really from Texas that, you know, I can kind of relate to like that. So it was cool. We were bumping the reggae in the car and stuff. But guys, I just wanted to show you guys this view and I really want to go on the water and do this whole thing that what is it what do you call it in the little boat thing it's such a nice day it's like 27 degrees right now celsius that's hot for winter for what is it december no january crazy so like you can see people in the water with the little stand-up thingy i don't know about that one i'll fall off but like people are rowing boats and stuff which i think is so cool i really want to try it where my bay at but like look at that look at that swan thing oh my gosh it's so cool Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Guys, so we just made it to North Austin north of austin i think and we're at the domain this is what everybody was talking about it's such a nice place we're going to maggie maggiano oh i should have let you butcher it. maggie, <laughs> maggie. maggie and Lisa. <laughs> shut up guys i'm looking so crusty right now but don't mind me so we're at the italian place and we got an appetizer and we got Mozzarella sticks, yummy in my tummy. So I got my fettuccine with spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. Well, fettuccine Alfredo. And they got kind of the same thing. Can and not. You got Parmesan chicken. So for dessert, we're having this warm apple costata. However you say it. Focus on it. Let me see how it, let me see how it cuts. Oh shit, nah. Is it focusing? Apple pie. Oh. Close your mouth. Is it good? No, it's sour? Damn. What? Cinnamony. Cinnamony me. <laughs> 